Hello friends. Today is Friday, September 25th, 2020. And this morning my attention was back on the news as the body, the casket of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was moved from the Supreme Court building to the Capitol building. Since 1852, 38 people, counting uh, Ginsburg, have been given this honor of being uh, in, to lie in state, they call it, including 12 presidents. She is the first woman and the first person of Jewish faith to lie on the platform made for Abraham Lincoln. And in the brief service that was shared with congressional leaders, senators, family members today, everyone who shared in voice or song was female. Mezzo-soprano opera singer Denise Graves sang Deep River and an American Anthem. Uh, you may know that RBG was a huge opera lover and in fact was giving, given a small part in an opera at one time. That was one of the things that she and her um, colleague Antonin Scalia shared. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi welcomed everyone to the Capitol very briefly and then Rabbi Lauren Holtzblatt shared a powerful message which I would like to share a bit of uh, today. She quoted, she said that Ruth had a framed print in her office and it had a bit of Deuteronomy 1620 in it that said, Zedek, Zedek, Terdoth. Justice, justice, you must pursue. So I looked up that part of the Bible and from the uh, complete Jewish Bible translation, it says this. So this is Deuteronomy 16, verses 18 through 20. You are to appoint judges and officers for all your gates in the cities that Adonai, your God, is giving you, tribe by tribe, and they are to judge the people with righteous judgment. You are not to distort justice or show favoritism, and you are not to accept a bribe, for a gift blinds the eye of the wise and twists the words of even the upright. Justice, only justice you must pursue, so that you will live and inherit the land Adonai, your God, is giving you. So again, this week we have come back to Deuteronomy, uh, which is full of much wisdom for us today as it was for the Hebrew tribes. Rabbi Holtzblatt shared that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was the high school valedictorian of her class, but she gave no speech because she was grieving at home with her father as her mother had just died. She was one of nine women at Harvard Law School. And as I watched the movie On the Basis of Sex uh, this week, which is fantastic, I was reminded of that episode that she talked about where uh, the nine women were brought to the dean's house for dinner and were all asked to answer the question, why are you here and why is it that you have been given a spot that a man could have had. She said, no law firm in the city of New York will hire me, which ended up giving me time for evening out the rights of women and men. And Rabbi Holtzblatt says, all the days of her life she pursued justice, even with illness, five bouts of cancer. And she won victory for women, brick by brick, case by case. And even when her views did not prevail, she still fought. Despair was not an option. She said, 
quote, dissents speak to a future age. Not to say my colleagues are wrong, but great dissents become court opinions, and over time their views can become the dominant view. They are made not for today, but for tomorrow. They were blueprints of the future. So today, she makes history again as the first woman, the first Jewish woman to lie in state. And Rabbi Holtzblatt says, today we are in sorrow. Tomorrow, we the people must continue her legacy. She was our prophet, our North Star, our strength for so long. And now, and in t the, a traditional Jewish blessing, May the memory of Ruth Bader Ginsburg forever and ever be a blessing. God give us the strength and bless us with courage, the intelligence, and the bravery, and the unbreakable resolve to pursue justice. Amen. I found those words so deep and so wise. Justice, justice, you shall pursue. And so it is to us, friends, brothers, sisters, to consider our little corner of the world today, this week, this month, how we may pursue justice for our, ourselves, for our community, for our nation, and for the world. I would close with a refrain of the spiritual that opera singer, oh, Denise Graves, what a voice. Uh, she and RBG were friends, and uh, so I found this helpful. A little bit about this famous spiritual, Deep River, African-American theologian and civil rights activist Howard Thurman found the imagery of this spiritual particularly powerful and he said deep river is perhaps the most universal in insight and certainly the most intellectual of all the spirituals in a bold stroke it thinks of life in terms of a river of course it must be added that to these early singers slaves as they were practically the river may have been for many the last and most formidable barrier to freedom. To slip over the river from one of the border states would mean a chance for freedom in the north. Or to cross the river into Canada would mean freedom in a new country, a foreign land. But let us reflect in a deeper meaning here, he says. To think of life as being like a river is a full and creative analogy. And as I listened to Denise Graves sing this uh, this morning, I was thinking about my message, the sermon for this coming Sunday at Denver Grace UMC, as we are hearing about the Hebrew people in Exodus who will be crossing the river and the, the wonderful story of the crossing of the sea that is a part of their exodus, their freedom, their liberation, of which, of course, so many of the people who had been enslaved latched onto the truths and the power of those stories as well. Deep river, my home is over Jordan, deep river, Lord, I want to cross over into campground. Deep river, my home is over Georgia.
burden deep river Lord I want to cross over into campground and so beloved friends wherever you find yourself on the river of life of love of family of community wherever you see the flowing waters of justice flowing by you may you dip your feet and your very self into it that you may seek justice, justice, pursue justice. May you be blessed this weekend. Look for us, we'll Denver Grace UMC, we'll share our worship experience beginning Sunday at 10 a.m. here or on YouTube. And I will see you Monday, September 28th. Blessings to you all.